Do you utilize Salesforce and need to create an order form? Let me show you how with Jotform. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I am currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you do utilize Salesforce and you already have a Jotform account, you can just search for Jotform in the App Exchange. Now, if you don't already utilize Jotform and you would like a form builder integration with your Salesforce account, you can do that through the App Exchange and you can start your Jotform account for free. So let's go ahead and jump to my Jotform tab and let's create this order form. So right now you can see I'm currently in the setup tab in the top left corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my Jotform tab. Now, if you are familiar with Jotform, this is going to look exactly like as if you were in your Jotform dashboard. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner. We're going to create a form and we have some familiar options. We have start from scratch. We have create a Salesforce form, which is new. We have use a template, import a form and create a signable document. So for this example, because we're wanting to create an order form, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize a template. Now, if you already know the type of order form you're wanting to look for, we can search for it right up here at the top. But for this example, I'm gonna head to the left-hand side where it says order forms to kind of get those creative juices flowing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick scroll. I think this soccer team t-shirt is great. So we can preview the form just to see what we're working with before we choose it. Perfect, we can utilize template on the top right-hand corner. Now, if there are any fields that you would like to add to this order form, very simple, top left-hand corner, we have the add a form element option and we can just drag in anything that we need. But for now, I think this is good. So over on the top right-hand side, you see we have our form designer. So if we wanna change the way this looks, we can do that. But right below that is our Salesforce integration. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this. And we have two different options. We can either create a new record or we can find an existing record. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on create a record. We'll do next. Now we're gonna choose which object it's going to go under. So I'm going to choose account and next. And you can see that Salesforce has already mapped its object fields with Jotform's form fields. The only one that's left blank is our account name because our name field is two different fields, the first name and the last name. So it wants to know which one of those three do we want. And we want their full name. And if there are any other fields that you need mapped, you can add them right down here at the bottom. But let's go next. Now it's wanting to know if we would like for it to look for duplicates. And if there is a duplicate, to update it. Let's go ahead and turn that on and we'll go ahead and choose the account name with our contact information and we'll save. Now let's go ahead and preview this form. We'll fill it out. So in the top right hand corner, we'll do preview form. Then I'm going to choose the fill form button. And if we scroll down, we can see that everything is filled out. Perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and submit. And the great thing about this is not only is their information brought over into your Salesforce account, all of the data that they just filled out is also kept within Jotform in your tables. So in the top left-hand corner, we're currently in the form builder. I'm gonna switch it over to tables and we can see all of that information kept for us within our tables. Now to see it in our account tab, up in the top left-hand corner, we're currently in the Jotform tab. I'm gonna jump over to accounts. And right here is Catherine Kirk. Now, if we need to, we can click on her information and we have everything within our Salesforce account. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about creating your own order form within Salesforce with Jotform, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.